In the previous video, we have implemented a way to create a decently looking road, but now we need to figure out how can we place structures around this road. Our logic would be as follows. Let's choose this element that we have fixed. So for it, let's place it in the correct position. The Z axis goes forward, so upwards in our case and the x-axis goes to the right and to the left. So we have checked. Do you have neighbor upwards to the right to the left? Okay, then rotate the three-way like this and place a three-way prefab here. And now we can reverse this logic and say, okay, you don't have a neighbor to the left. So I know for a fact that this could be a good spot to place a structure. And using this logic, we are going to go through each of the road prefab road game object to get the spaces where there are no road neighbors so let's get to it let's stop the game and what we would need to do is to create a new c -sharp script called a structure helper let's open it up okay and for now we will only spawn a simple cube in places where we want to place structures so let's create public game object prefab so this will be the prefab that we will spawn right now and what we want to do now is to create a public dictionary again i need to be using system collections generic and we are going to use again the same formula as for the road vector 3 int and game object to store our game objects let's call it our structures dictionary equals new dictionary okay so this is where we are going to store the references for our game objects and what we need to implement here is a public void place structures around road method and this will take a list of vector three ints well, and this will be road positions so this will need to be passed from the road helper into this structure helper and what we would need to do here is to say dictionary of type vector 3 int and direction and we will call it free estate spots and let's make it equal to the result of a function called find three spaces around road and we are going to pass here our road positions okay and again we need to alt enter on it generate this method in our class and what we would do here is for we go for each bar position in three estate spots dot keys we would call instantiate our prefab at this position with quaternion dot identity rotation for now and let's pass this transform as its parent to have a neat hierarchy great so now the one thing that remains is to implement the algorithm for finding those free spaces. What we will need to do here is to create our dictionary that we will need to return of type vector 3 int and direction as the value free spaces equals new dictionary. Great. So we are going to look for each bar position in road positions so we are going to go through each road so this is kind of a duplicate code from our road code i'm sure you could figure out a more efficient way to go around it bar our neighbor's directions and this is the same code that we have used to fix the road we are going to call placement helper dot find neighbor road 
sorry, find neighbors, we have called this method for this position, and we are going to pass the list road positions. So do recall that we have passed a dictionary.keys in the last uh, call for this method, and here we are passing the list. That's why it was useful to call iCollection instead of the specific list or uh, the uh, key value pair for the dictionary, for example. So this gives us some freedom to call this method. Now, we have our directions for each of the neighbors for this position. So now the wise thing would be to loop through the, our enums. So for this, we are going to call for each bar direction, or we need to specify this to be direction. Instead of item, it will call direction. And in, and we are going to loop through the enum. So we need to call enum, get values and type of And we need to pass direction as the type. Okay. So now we should get each type of direction from our di uh, direction enum. So we are looping through this enum. And what we need to check if our neighbor directions contains this direction. If this equals to false, then we know that there is no neighbor in this direction. I don't want to capital direction. I need to pass the direction with lowercase letter. Great. So now we can call var new position equals position. And we need to get the position of the direction. So we would need to create another placement helper method. The method would be called get offset from direction. And we are going to pass the direction. So we do not have this method, so let's alt enter on it, generate this method method, and we can right click on it and go to definition. This should open us our placement helper class. And what we will want to do here is to create a switch statement. Double press tab to create this auto uh, implementation. Let's pass here the direction and push the arrow downwards. It will create us the implementation for our switch statement. And if this is up, we are going to return a new vector 3 int. And do remember that up and down is z axis, which is not implemented as vector 3 int forward. So we need to pass our 0, 0, 001 new vector here. If this is downwards, we need to return new vector 3 0 0 minus 1 if this is left we are going to return vector 3 int dot right but with a minus or we can actually call left and this automatically has a minus and if the direction is right we will return the offset is a vector 3 dot right okay and in any other case we are going to throw a new system dot exception and we are going to pass no direction touch s and we're going to add that direction in case the enum implements another direction that we are not including here in this switch statement okay let's save it let's go back to our road uh, sorry structure helper okay and again because this is a dictionary that we need to append this position to we need to check if free space contains key our new position if it is true we will simply continue because we can check two road pieces and that they can have the same free space around them so we need to take it into account and we are going to pass free spaces add our new position and when we will want to rotate our buildings when we are placing the prefabs for the buildings we will need to have the proper direction 
and we will need to implement another helper method inside our placement helper. But for now, let's pass the direction dot right because it doesn't matter right now. And at the end of this for each, when we have looped through each piece of the road, we're going to return a free space dictionary. Okay, so we can see that we have returned this dictionary and then we loop through it and instantiate prefabs around our road. So this should be everything that we need to call, but we need to call this method somewhere. So let's go to our road helper class. Okay, and at the top, just below the variables, let's implement public a list of vector threes int and we will call it get road positions and i have figured it out this way that we are going to return road dictionary dot is and we are going to use to to list and we when we press alt enter on this we can go and use system.link to convert our keys into a list let's save it and let's uh, we need to call this method in turn now so let's go to our visualizer okay and here we need to add a public structure helper called structure helper okay and now we can apply assign this in our editor let's go down into our visualize sequence method just below for each just after we fix the road, we need to call structure helper dot and we have this place structures around the road method implemented and what we need to pass is our road helper dot get road positions and this should be it. So let's go to unity and what we need to do here is create in our hierarchy new game object, let's call it structure helper. Okay, let's drag in onto it our structure helper script and we can see that we need one prefab. So we can go and instead of cube, let's say we want to uh, instantiate this house. So let's try playing the game. And we can see that there is a null reference exception. So we didn't set the road structure helper inside our visualizer. So let's drag it. Let's press play. And we can see, voila, there are houses around our road. So this is the extent of this tutorial for now. The remaining few episodes will be presented first to my patrons. So I encourage you to sign up for uh, the uh, one of the tires to support me and you will have immediate access. And then if in a few days, I will post it all onto YouTube. So we can all benefit from it, but I really encourage you to support me on Patreon and you can get access almost instantly to the next few episodes. So in the next video, what we are going to do is we are going to tackle the issue of rotating those houses so they all have the exit of the house facing the street and then we are going to consider how can we add a bigger building that takes few spaces and make it all automatic so we can implement a structure that looks kind of like a town and not just simple single type of object and of course later we are going to implement some logic to place trees instead of houses in some of those spots so this looks really nice and at the end we are going to tackle the animation so anyways Next video should be available soon on YouTube, will be available almost right away on Patreon. So see you in the next video.